to the skunks of Skunville. Only one thing trending right now and it's the controversial documentary released by Vice News recently regarding allegations of corruption against our honorable saint of a vice president or as we like to call him, President Proxy, aka Megamind. My thoughts on the documentary after the intro. Stay tuned. Hey, something ever surprised you like when you see Tegala war? Before we get started, if you're new to Skunks, press the red and white subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you can get updates when we post new videos. Now, the Vice News documentary. After much anticipation, it finally came out and was disappointing to say the least. Let me explain. Y'all know y'all could come to me to tell y'all the truth, even if the truth is not the truth you want to hear. At least at the end of my videos, you're always satisfied that whatever I would have said is balanced, unbiased, and accurate. The documentary was trash. I cannot lie. First of all, Jadio already did some public relations control by releasing the interview months ago. So the shocked look on his face when asked about Sue was a bubble that was already popped. Secondly, Though the video brings up a lot of interesting questions and certain conclusions can be drawn from the revelations, Vice News failed to get Jack Dio to incriminate himself. We don't call this man Megamind over here for nothing. Jack Dio is one of the brightest politicians in Guyana. For Jack Dio to get got, you've got to do better than that, Vice. There is no admission of guilt on his part and all we're left with is Sue's word against his. And they could easily dismiss Sue as a con man. And wait! Before you PPP supporters go and share and like this video prematurely, hear me out. I personally believe Jack Dio is corrupt as skunt based on what we've found so far as our investigations continue into the PPP oligarchy. But Vice News failed in their attempt to properly prove Jack Dio's link to corruption. The first mistake they've made was to try to coordinate with skunt whole Guyanese critic. Hi Critic, how are you? It's Isabel here. Um, I was just calling because we have touched down in Georgetown and I would love to catch up with you. So let me know if you're around um, this afternoon or this evening. Um, we are at your disposal, so just let us know um, when might be a good time to, to grab you. You're going to Guyana to expose Jack Dio and go call the man Pitbull for help? Isabel, you're a scunt? you got to be a scunt. Then Mr. Chananal is a bigger scunt. He can name Jack Dio house and gonna try to get Jack Dio to admit that he's the one the money is going to. I understand our deal you no, need no, to no. I'm, I'm not getting involved in business. You will get the support. Sue is my friend, he gets all the support. Mr. Chan is a jackass. Right away the meeting done. Nice try, Mr. Chan. <laughs> Now I respect the effort Vice News made to highlight this corruption issue we have plaguing Guyana. But we all know their main target is China and they couldn't really give two scunts about the problems of Guyana. In the interest of full disclosure, one of our operatives in Guyana was in touch with Vice News during this investigation. At the time, we were working on our own documentary on Tamish Jagmohan, who is a PPP oligarch with his foot on the necks of some rice farmers in Essequibo. We've provided leads to Vice News on where to look if they really wanted to expose Jagio because this issue with Sue is just the tip of the iceberg and that Sue is not the only Sue. They didn't follow any of our leads that didn't involve Chinese Sues because they went to Guyana with a specific agenda and that is to get China's involvement in the corruption. But we don't need vice. We will continue to investigate and expose on we damn own because we need to do right by the Guyanese people. Vice could rake the dirty stinking scunt. They think Guyana is only now for sale. Look how long China done buy out Guyanese politicians. Anybody remember Bai Shan Lin? Guyana is being sold to China long now. And when the PNC took over in 2015, the selling continued. The only difference between the PNC selling and the PPP selling is that the PNC is not as sophisticated about it. In the interview with Vice, Jagio said that reporters from abroad always want to make leaders of developing countries look corrupt. But wasn't it Jack Dio who was trying to highlight corruption when Apno was in office? So now when he is in power, corruption suddenly vanished and his entire government is made up of saints. Y'all could miss me with that bullshit. Jack Dio needs to come clean on how the contractor for the Amila Falls project suddenly pulled out after the circumstances surrounding the award of that contract was subjected to queries during Vice News' investigation. He tried to tell me that the contractor failed to secure funding. Ay yaga. The PPP and PNC are cut from the same cloth. When Harmon don't collect your money, he used to issue a gag order to make sure you shut your skunt. When Trackman collect your bag and sell out Guyana, nobody could do one skunt about it. Now ask yourself this question. 
How come Guyana is ranked so low on the Corruption Perception Index and no politician is in jail? Y'all need to get woke quick and realize that the PPP already bought the PNC. Don't be fooled by these politicians. I've signed on to a movement with some Guyanese patriots to help create a new political system where we could kill corruption and stop the sale of Guyana. We need people to answer the call for unity and true democracy. If you're interested in joining the movement, head over to unityforguyana.com and sign up. I'm really not supposed to be telling you people about this yet, but I think it's best for us to start to mobilize early before they attempt to shut us down. Together, we can make a change in Guyana. I invite all of you to join this movement. Even if you're living in the diaspora, go to unityforguyana.com and sign up. Change is necessary, and together, we can make it happen. unityforguyana.com Tell them what to send you. Boom out! Hold up.